गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर कमिंग हेयर टूडे इन द मॉर्निंग आफ्टर द गेम नाइट आई होप एवरीबडी इंजॉय द गेम नाइट लास्ट नाइट सो इट टू कस वाइल टू सेट दिस अप थिंग नाउ इट इज ऑल डन वी कैन किक दिस थिंग ऑफ टूडे वी आर हेयर फॉर द फिडोरा मैंटरशिप समिट ट्रैक This is our first ever in-person Fedora Mentorship Summit, um, and we have been planning it for like last six months. Initially, we thought we will have it separately, but then, because of the logistics reason, and because we thought we will have a lovely audience like you here at Fedora, so we clubbed it together. Uh, last year, we did it virtually. I would like to say thank you to all the organizers um, of Fedora Mentorship Summit who have been. I have been working with them for last six months, and uh, because of them, it is possible that we are doing it here today. So it's Yona Aziz. You will see her. You can wave your hand, stand up, and. Uh, you you will hear from her a lot more stories about mentorship later today we have akash deep our second organizer then we have sumantro mukherjee here of course this name uh, everybody knows by now justin <laughs> justin flory we have two people two other people also contributed and helped us uh, in organizing this who are not here because of the visa reasons or some other reasons um i but i'll still quote their name because they truly helped us vipul siddharth and samira with that i'll move forward so here we would like to dedicate this track to marina she is not among us here but we are here to celebrate her life and legacy i can go on and on through the list of contributions and the difference she has made so far she was a community engagement lead at red hat she was the board member at gnome foundation god it is making me so emotional right now um she also was one of the founder of ada initiative uh she core organized the force outreach program uh we used her experience with outreach to contribute from to get the contribution and support many underrepresented group i i will not hesitate to say that if i'm standing here today even after being at red hair for last 12 years there is a huge hand and support from marina there are many stories i can tell about her but we are here to celebrate her life and to take her legacy forward i would like to invite justin here to quote a story about marina and then we will kick start this track with help of yona thank you everyone i just wanted to share some you know context about Marina and the impact that she's had both in the open source space and also here in the Fedora community. Uh just last month I came wearing my my outreach shirt from the 1000 intern celebration that took place in multiple locations all over the world last month. Uh in Nigeria, in in India, in uh Portland, in Fossi and a handful of of other locations as well. and that was a huge milestone because marina was also a she was one of the original founders of what was originally the gnome uh gnome outreach opw Pro outreach project for women which then later became outreachy and she was a huge driving force for making that that program grow and scale to reaching that 1000 intern milestone last year in the fedora community as well 8 years ago our uh the fedora council added a, a diversity advisor seat to the fedora council and uh marina was also an advisory part of uh, voice to the fedora leadership at that time to help us uh make more space for these kind of conversations in the community and in 2016 we had our first uh we do hackfests uh, or pre covid we did a lot of hackfests in the community where 
We get small teams together for a week and get people to do team building and work on a specific project or task. And uh, seven years ago, Marina was also one of the big driving forces for us building the what was then the diversity team and has now evolved to the, the DEI team in Fedora. So I just wanted to acknowledge both her presence and her, her the legacy that she leaves behind, both for Outreachy and her impact on that program and all the interns that have come through that, uh, through Outreachy, but also in Fedora Project, uh, in our own community, where she helped be a driving force for making these spaces in our community and supporting the team to empower them to uh, build a team around that diversity advisor role that was added in 2018. That was just a, a seat on the council, but we didn't know at the time that it's like, oh, this is actually really hard work and we need a, a group of people to help support that person there. So we just wanted to make that space for Marina because she, she passed away last year from breast cancer. This is a very, still very fresh loss in the community and we just wanted to make that acknowledgement in space for Marina and her life and the impact that she's had both in Fedora and the wider open source space. So uh, I'm really sad that we're, still sad that we're missing her. I would have loved, I think this is the kind of event that she would have loved to be at, but I think the best thing we can do is, you know, honor her memory and her impact in the community and keep doing all the things that we're doing because I think that's what, in the, in the DEI space for Fedora, because I think that's what she would have wanted us to continue doing, so. I'll pass it back over to our MCs, but uh, just wanted to share that impact that she's had both broadly and in the Fedora community as well. So let's share a bit how we started with the idea, with the idea of having Fedora Mentor Summit, uh, why it was important for us. Um, so a mentor uh, is someone with experience and knowledge in some area that can help someone else learn and grow. So how this works in Fedora until now? Uh, we have the Fedora Ambassadors Project where they have their uh, mentors. So Fedora mentors help uh, new people to be ambassadors in the project, to be the face of Fedora in uh, different events or their local communities. Another way, we have the Fedora Mentor Project, which um, consists in helping with, um, let's say, official internships uh, or projects like GSO, Google Summer of Code, uh, Outreachy, Google Summer of Docs, and so on. Um, and another one is the Fedora Join SIG, uh, which um, the mentors there are helping uh, new people to, uh, with onboarding uh, to start their first steps in the project. But we also have What Can I Do for Fedora, which is more like something that you can do yourself, that you can check on the website based on the skill set, uh, which team uh, you'd like to join, um, you know, to check more about the team page and so on. But this way it's a bit more difficult because usually when uh, you are just joining a, a community, uh, you need a bit more guidance, uh, how to move forward, um, what are the teams, how you can join them. Uh, are they doing meetings, what tools they are using, and so on. Um, so you need a bit more, let's say, persistence to move forward and to do that first step to become a contributor in the project and then to become later a long-term contributor and so on. But of course the mentorship itself is important because you know, we need the continuation. We need uh, to have more new people joining the project so we can pass the knowledge, the expertise, so in this way we can also avoid having bottleneck or uh, having burnout in the teams which um, we have seen uh, like in different teams for example happening. So in this way we could avoid these small problems. And since it's you know, um, quite important um, for the project itself, uh, we wanted to focus more on this mentorship part. So in this way we could um, share the experience that we have with each other to make it as a, let's say, a better experience. So we are, we are already doing stuff. Um, as we can see, you know, it's not that this project started now, it's been quite a while in the uh, community itself. But we just wanted, you know, to um, improve this experience more and to build on that um, since it's a very fundamental part of the federalized culture. 
so here I put it, um, I was checking uh, some, uh, let's say, stories that I could find from the community, how mentorship was important for them. In 2018, we had the Fedora Appreciation Week, and um, one of the ways how people could say thank you to the contributors in the community was to write a contributor story. Um, and there you can find like a lot of stories how having someone in, in the community really impacted their experience in the project. How helpful it was for them having someone that could guide them around, could tell them um, how the teams are working, um, how they can get more involved. Uh, it really made like a difference for, uh, for them in their um, journey in Fedora. Which also uh, makes me realize that maybe we should repeat that again, actually. So four years ago, after the Council Hackfest that we had, um, I was chatting with Bex and Matthew about it. So we were like, okay, let's organize the Federal Mentor Summit. It took us a while to do it, actually. So one year ago, we did the first edition of the Federal Mentor Summit, which was uh, online and virtually. And um, some of the numbers that I can share from last year. So we had 93 attendees that joined us, and the attendee score was 8.7. So that's the rate that we got from the participants, how much they liked and enjoyed the event itself. Uh, the top countries that joined us were uh, India, US, Brazil, Germany, and others. And so, uh, uh, because in the beginning, you know, we were not very sure what should be um, the event type, the style, how we should do it. So we did it more like kind of unconference style. Uh, we did have some sessions with presentations about mentoring, how much it helps, and so on. But we also have uh, different panel discussions. So we had like different Fedora uh, mentors that were sharing their experience. We had also a panel discussion with Fedora mentees. And another one that I really liked, we invited different open source projects uh, like OpenSUSE, LibreOffice, uh, and GNOME to share how um, mentorship was working in their communities, what were some difficulties that they were facing, um, and some things that working, uh, were working well for them so we could you know, share the experience with them and see how we could help each other. Which I hope that, because this year it was a bit tough to do something similar, but maybe in the next edition to invite, you know, more also other projects um, that could join the Fedora Mentor Summit. So when we were thinking about putting the goal uh, for us for this year, Fedora Mentor Summit, uh, we decided that the best uh, would be um, to foster the culture of mentorship and support the Fedora Project Council strategy uh, around establishing a community where everyone has a mentor in Fedora and everyone in Fedora is a mentor. So basically, let's make mentorship a fundamental part of uh, Fedora's culture. So what we will have in the agenda today uh, after uh, this session, we will have a panel discussion uh, about mentoring and mentorship best practices in Fedora. Uh, then after the break, we will have uh, some uh, DEI workshops and different activities. It will be um, not live stream because it will be more like hands-on. Uh, we will uh, be in different groups. Uh, so it could help us to know each other better. Um, and then after the lunch break, we will have um, the talk from Emmy, why you should join a community. And the last one will be the story stitch game. So when we were organizing this event, we organized it with the idea of improving conversation and um, to heavily depend on participation. So please join in conversation, ask questions, discuss your ideas, and basically let's take something out of it. And please don't forget to abide by our code of conduct. And that's all from my side. In the end, uh, we will also ask uh, for some feedback and suggestion how we can improve it and make it better. Thank you.